topic of today's video is how to avoid a damage to your oil pump discs i uh, received this package from samuel from chennai and uh, he had purchased this oil pump from me in 2018 and uh, for some good reasons he had uh, used it over a, a period where uh, he had to use it for one of his customer that's what he said so what exactly went wrong is uh, that uh, is that i'm just opening it right away is that according to him the oil pump failed and the reason of uh, it according to my understanding is that uh, the warm nut, the warm nut and the spiral of this spindle. If you can see uh, the degree of this spindle is not correct. Because of which, due to this, the spindle moved did not move properly and this is the uh, piece which he sent and I have an original piece here uh, this is the original brand new from the company and if I may have to place them together the quality and the uh, grading i would just want to put a light on it and say that see, if i what i feel is this was a problem because of the meaning these are deep in cut and slightly under size of the degree and if you see the degree is matching together but this is more cross and this is slight oversize uh, unfortunately uh, if you see that this side is beating on a wrong it's rotating on a wrong side and uh, this side is li little bit off the beat if you can see this is little bit off the beat uh, now uh, this is the uh, inlet disc this is okay and uh, this is the exhaust but if you find see this there is a small variation in the suction and uh, pumping it up that's when the became little bit loose and uh, this is also eaten up if you see that there is a metal chipping inside and what I feel is inlet is okay but the exhaust had went haywire and it, it became loose so there are two possibilities when you install a warm nut and when you replace your disc i always suggest the buyers uh, to replace the warm nut and as well as if possible replace the spindle because the problem is the spindle has eaten up if 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 i have to show if you can see the spindle grooves the warm grooves have been eaten up in one side that's the reason the shaft had a load over it the shaft had a load over it and this this is the outcome if I have to show so if you can see this yeah, you can see 
it has eaten up at one side too much of pressure this is because of the warm nut uh, thread from the beginning where the oil pump uh, the timing cover slides in if this this is the way right so if you see that this eaten up place is taken care properly and the warm nut is uh, good enough then you will never face this problem uh, luckily uh, Samuel had a backup piece because he had taken uh, more than two pieces if I'm not wrong and he's used it because of which he had uh, uh, told me that he's re replaced it with the other piece and uh, the ultimate performance was uh, uh, you know uh, lacking out of it so he is replaced uh, with a spindle warm nut and he uh, with a spare uh, oil pump and uh, and I as I always said uh, in my first video of this channel explaining that how to do it uh, unfortunately I see that there are these the marks the uh, timing cover groove casing was not uh, polished properly if you can see if you can see this cuts these this was not polished properly due to which he had to face more uh, problems if uh, and uh, now please uh, I really appreciate uh, Samuel uh, you know sending the spindle along with uh, the parcel for me to understand and do my R&D and he was quite uh, generous in saying that you know I am not trying to claim anything out of it because I bought it a uh, long uh, back and thank, thanks a lot uh, Sam uh, for uh, sending the package back to me for me to understand and I simply cannot uh, blame it to blame it on anybody but it's uh, the problem was with the warm nut and the spindle shaft no matter how you want to use this I can send I am I will try to send it back to you and uh, if possible I will send uh, try to send you a replaced piece but I will not be able to uh, send you a spindle along with uh, and uh, please do see what uh, next time please keep this in mind that just a small uh, ignorance over uh, the uh, pump will create a problem luckily you had a backup piece and you had to repl you could replace it immediately and take an action but what about the people those who only uh, have one single option uh, once again uh, my subscribers my followers and whoever is watching this video i would want you guys to please please follow the instructions properly and do not end up with this problem uh, sometimes it happens that even the uh, you know the, the old professionals who are into this trade can make a mistake just by looking at uh, the clearance after washing the uh, timing cover or the Indian case sometimes it, it, it happened with me also once that uh, in uh, 2009 I did a bike which was uh, uh, absolutely I bought it from an uh, Air Force uh, auction and uh, I rebuilt the entire bike just because of one simple uh, mistake my mistake the entire oil pump unit had to be replaced so I am not blaming uh, Sam also it, it is a human error sometimes it happens and uh, maybe maybe because of uh, non availability of uh, the prod, you know the required spare part at the very same moment so once again in my uh, another video i would uh, and and you know i would brush up again and i will 
show the entire uh, process of fixing the uh, oil disc oil pump disc right from the uh, starting where is in i would open the entire timing cover and uh, wash the entire thing and i will also take a colored chalk and i will try to scrape you know rub it inside the groove uh, at the facing so that uh, you can understand that this is a possibility that which can uh, use it you can also do it uh, inside the facing where the oil pump disc is going to be rest you know sitting In that place you can roll your finger and see if you cannot find uh, do you know if you cannot if if you find that the, there is no enough space for your finger to run in between the gap take a small uh, chalk piece and uh, or a slate uh, pencil and just rub you know little have little bit pressure over it and rub, roll it and run it onto the surface so, so that you can get to see where the excess of uh, undulated or rough surface is there where the chalk is going to be uh, scraping onto it that's when you can use a emery i always suggest to use a, a proper fine grade uh, emery and polish it with with a old disc pump itself and take a spoke uh, just give me a second take a spoke like this a cycle spoke bend it and make it a tweezer kind of thing inserted in between uh, these two holes and use them as a rolling a guiding holes and uh, rotate it put, putting your finger in between and rotate it with the pressure on it so that you know the fine grid ends up eating up the undulated surface from the old uh, thing and also you can use a piece of glass and uh, a, and some uh, kerosene or maybe diesel apply some uh, take some emery put it on the glass piece of glass hold it hold the old uh, dead uh, disc and start uh, rotating clockwise anti clockwise and make a fine surface out of it then use use do the repeat the same thing with the uh, timing cover uh, clean it properly with uh, the petrol and diesel and then rub it properly so that you get the uh, finish then rinse it properly with petrol and make sure that there is no leftover uh, grids uh, of uh, the uh, paste grinding paste and uh, voila that's you can that's how you can go ahead and you utilize the uh, uh, timing uh, i mean like oil pump disc and fix it properly and uh, make sure that the uh, springs and uh, the uh, button the metal button which holds the spring and uh, puts the uh, push pushes the oil pump towards the surface uh, is faced properly fixed properly and do not do not a biggest mistake do not fix the disc pump without adding oil into it because that is also one of the reasons where the initial first cranks by the time the oil is sucked and uh, you know there are there are situations where uh, the entire bike engine is done the tuning is done it's absolutely perfect and when it happens you crank the engine and in the first kick the the bike starts but the moment the first kick the bike is paddled up and fired up the engine revs and rolls the timing cover and the oil pump disc is empty so the metal starts rubbing the ends and that's when the damage happens and in that main course if the metal course the chipping of the metal enters this body right inside this that's when the damage starts happening and the it doesn't 
stay it doesn't get out easily because it will be stuck in between the metal and it will start eating now if you see that it is at one end it is working properly but the other end i mean like this end it is very much losing the vacuum suction and if i rotate it it is giving you a bigger sound so it has damaged and it is eaten one side over a period of course you would understand how to do it but uh, uh, for the beginner please do refer to my first video how to fix your uh, oil pump bigger oil pump and and i'm sure next time you would be able to do it all by yourself without even looking at my referring to my video uh once again thanks a lot samuel for uh, sending back the uh, oil pump disc along with the uh, oil pump spindle and uh, i'll see what ne ne needs to be done thanks a lot you guys have a great day